February, it's February 19th, 2020. And I just drove down the street to come here to this uh, farm and I saw two churches being built. What a waste of time and money. They don't understand, don't realize that God never has, never will live in a building. That was only a concession given to the Jewish people because of the promise to Abraham that they wanted a temple, a building, because that's their caveman mentality. That's how it was, uh, that's how it was back then. And uh, so when they came out of Egypt, they said, give us a building, give us a temple, give us a, a, a priest. I've said this before and I haven't made a video in a while and uh, I'm gonna have to do it again. Uh, Acts 7, 45 through 48, around that area, it states, God does not live in houses, buildings made by human hands. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Stephen said that and he was stoned and killed for that. And he was quoting Jesus because Jesus says, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. So why uh, are you building buildings? You know, the first temple was destroyed after Solomon. Then they built the second temple and that was during Jesus' day. And Jesus says, it's going to be destroyed. And just because of that one verse, it states, oh, Jesus had zeal for his temple. He didn't even say that. You know, and the temple is the people. We are the temple. He was still under that law until he died. He said, do not think I come to fulfill the law or the prophets or not destroy them. But then the prophecies, which you don't understand, which the Eupagili, you, you know, he fulfilled that. And the law. So, and when he died, it's, it is says it is finished. That's it. That era, that whatever he said and did before that temple was destroyed, but before he died, that ended at the cross. That's why the temple curtain was ripped, and many holy people came to life. So that era, age of thinking that man or that God lives to, uh, in a temple, or man needs to build a temple, that's caveman thinking. It's ignorance. That's just to control people, make them think that God is in that building this reminds me of a star trek episode go uh no the the voyager when the uh emt their em emh the hologram guy doctor who was created he couldn't leave the room until prompted you know because he was a computer generated doctor and he couldn't leave the spaceship because he was a computer generated program you know so in order for him to leave the ship or not fall apart he needed a little patch that gave him existence beyond the infirmity the doctor's office or room in the in the star trek voyager or the spaceship the enterprise so in order for him sometimes he would fail and he had to put the patch on to keep them together because that would be his his life source and when he ever left the ship he had to have that on there so it's the same thing with the uh, the holy spirit that was his holy spirit it's the same thing when you're in this temple building, you feel, oh, it's God's house. You feel good, right? Or it's Sunday. And, you know, like the lady in uh, Hidden Figures, Mary, it's Sunday. What's the difference? Special places, holy times, special substances. That's caveman, pantheonism. That stupidity, ignorant, it's over with. Ignorance, it's over with. You know? I haven't scripted this. I'm just thinking out of my heart my mind. Uh, so, you people, you weak Christians think that you have to go to a place put your patch on and guide the Holy Spirit's there as soon as you leave it oh you know it's not holy I'm not holy no more or this place is not holy no more well put your patch on take it with you and then you're holy every day everywhere you see it's, it's ignorance it's time to come out of that my people come out of this building mentality because the second temple what happened you know it was bulldozed it was destroyed by the Romans. Don't tell me God didn't couldn't stop that. He sent that to, to happen because he needed to get rid of that caveman mentality. Because in fact, the New Testament was uh, written before the second temple was destroyed. And a lot of you Christians think, oh, you know, God's going to build the third temple. And because he says, you know, uh, this generation will see it. There's an immediate fulfillment and a future fulfillment like some preachers preach, which is wrong. So you think that, but Jesus was just being optimistic. So what he was really saying is that this generation, you will not die. You're going to see me. You're not going to fail. Because if he said you're going to fail, they would have said, well, how can we not, you know, make it heaven and earth if God is telling us we're going to fail? So he had to tell him you're going to make it. 
So it doesn't mean that, oh, the temple is destroyed, they're going to rebuild it in Jerusalem, and then Jesus is not going to look like a liar, and then he's going to come in the clouds and fulfill the prophecy. So that's why we got to vote for Trump, because he's the Messiah, he's the promise. He says he's put the embassy in Jerusalem, and now they've got the wood and the concrete, like one church, the Christ Fellowship, that I love to go to, but they, they, they believe that, which is wrong. And a lot of churches, they're not, I'm not isolating them, but a lot of them think that. That's why they're voting for Trump. But there ain't going to be no temple built in Jerusalem because God does not live in houses made by hands. Put your patch on. Have the Holy Spirit. Go everywhere, every place, anytime. Stop thinking like a caveman. All right? You know, God does not live in houses made with human hands. Okay? Stop building buildings for God. We are the temple. It's in us. You. Everywhere. Uh, what are the verses? Jesus says, the time is coming. You should worship me in spirit and in truth. Neither this mountain, Gizram, or uh, Jerusalem, but in spirit and in truth. And about special places? No. That's it. It's right here. I'm having church here. Beautiful foliage out here. And uh, uh, the Saturday Sabbath? I made this in my other videos at greatestonecommand.com. Uh, Jesus says, remember me? Rest in me. Not a 24-hour period. It's a person. You know? And the chosen? Paul says, those are chosen of the heart, not of the physical. It was Abraham. Not the Jews who are really the chosen one. Just God was just giving his promise to Abraham. So the chosen is everybody, everywhere. I can keep going. Come out of for my people means come out of that caveman mentality because when Jesus comes and you still got a temple and you're still worshiping him with your Bible and your holy phony face look, he's gonna bulldoze it, he's gonna bulldoze it with you in it. So come out of her and stop, you know, it's become evil. You know, if you're gonna be uh, with the spirit, it has to leave that building and not just 10%, 100%. So greatestonecommand.com, I'm a little emphatic, this is what I teach. Come out of her, my people. It's time to make heaven and earth before the second coming. You're waiting for the second coming. You're denying Jesus Christ. Okay? Greatest one command.com.